Hey everybody. So it's been a little while since I've done one of these videos, but got some cool new gadgetry that I want to show you. So I figured this would be a good time. Um, just a quick little recap for those of you who may know some of my story, but some of you may not. Um, quite a while back, I uh, was put in touch with Bill and Deb Weiss at Limited Mobility Solutions when I requested information about being able to voice activate a hospital bed because I couldn't press the buttons. So they were able to deliver a really cool solution. So I'll quickly demo that. Um, but I also want to show you a new piece of technology that they have um, created or, or worked with, I guess I should say, in order to um, make this even more accessible. So come with me, let's check it out, okay? here I have just your typical hospital bed um, that is made for home use. Um, <clears throat> you'll also notice there's another bed beside it so a little piece of news for those of you who maybe saw the first video but you haven't seen any most recent news but I got married a month and a half ago so that's the reason for the second bed. I now have a husband who has to have a place to sleep too so anyway um, his bed is not automated. Mine is. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Um, I'm gonna demonstrate a couple of things, but let me show you something first. I'm gonna be using the Amazon Echo device and the Google Home Mini devices. So this is what I wanna compare. So I want you to take a look at these first. Okay, so here they're very unobtrusive, just small little devices that sit on top of the chest of drawers and they're plugged in, um, really just kind of out of the way completely across the room from the bed. So uh, they don't get in the way, which is really awesome. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna start by just doing a quick little recap demo for those of you who might not have seen how the Amazon device works. Um, it's pretty simple. Now, what happened is that Limited Mobility Solutions, which is, you know, like I said, Bill and Deb Weiss, um, they programmed this box with certain commands to make the bed operate, to replace the traditional remote. So here's an example. I'm going to back out of the way so you can see. Alexa, turn on head. Okay. Alexa, turn on head. Okay. So there you can see it's just raising up the head. Now check this out. Alexa, turn on knees. Okay. Alexa, turn on knees. Okay. So you can see that I'm just giving these basic commands that are pre-programmed into the controller and they do exactly what they sound like they should do. So now I'm going to put the bed back in its flat mode. Alexa, turn on back. Okay. Alexa, turn on back. Okay. Alexa, turn on feet. Okay. Alexa, turn on feet. Sorry, I didn't find a device named Peak. Alexa, turn on feet. Okay. Sometimes Alexa has a hard time with my southern accent. <laughs> All right, so that's the Amazon Echo Dot. Now, I'm gonna show you the Google Home Mini, which is the new piece of device uh, or piece of technology that Bill asked me to try a few months ago. So I've been testing it out and I'm really pleased with the results. So check it out. Some of the same basic commands. Hey Google, turn on head. Okay, turning on the head. Hey Google, turn on head. You 
got it. Turning on the head. Hey Google, turn on knees. Sure, turning on the knees. Hey Google, turn on knees. Okay, turning on the knees. So again, very simple, same basic commands. Hey Google, turn on back. You got it, turning the back on. Hey Google, turn on feet. Sure, turning the feet on. Hey Google, turn on back. Sure, turning on the back. Hey Google, turn on feet. You got it, turning the feet on. Now, just to give you my little notes about the compare contrast between the two devices, um, really, I've had great response from both of them. In any event that one did not respond to me, the other one did. So it's been really cool to have the backup of each one. But as a general rule, both are very responsive. responsive. Um, but check this out. I have both devices set to 70% of their maximum volume. And I think there's probably a noticeable difference there. At least I feel like there is. So check this one out. Alexa. Turn on head. Okay. So you heard her. Now, hey Google, turn on head. Sure, turning on the head. I personally think maybe the Google Home Mini has a little bit richer speaker system, um, but as far as responsiveness, they're both fantastic. Um, but here's something really cool I want to show you, and this is um, a definite upgrade from the last time that I did a video for you about this technology. Um, originally, the system was set up in such a way that it had to respond only to the commands because um, Bill and other people like John Holcraft, who are very involved in the process as well, John is very involved in the behind-the-scenes programming for the different um, systems. Um, Bill, you know, and Deb, they're sometimes out front and John's kind of on the back side, but it takes all of them uh, very much working together. And so we want to give a shout out to John as well because um, he does a great job in participating with this also. But um, what I want to show you is this upgraded system that they've come up with now where <clears throat> I'm not limited to only the commands that they program. See, um, I know this because I'm a computer teacher. I always say that computers are only as smart as we allow them to be. Um, as a general rule, they can't understand much. They have very specific short commands that they can understand. And it's our ability to um, mix and match those commands, for lack of a better way to say it, uh, that makes us let them do more complicated things. So when they originally started out, they had to work with just what they had and it was simple commands like turn on head turn on feet and that's what's programmed into the system <clears throat> however with this upgraded um, software that they've created now we can actually use routines that are built into um, the alexa app and the google home app in order to do things a little more complicated so check this out if i don't want to say turn on knees to put my legs up. I don't have to anymore. I can make up my own commands right here from my own home. So check this out. Alexa, raise legs. Okay. Alexa, raise legs. Okay. And by the same token with the Google device, I can create a routine as well. So check this out. Hey Google, lower my legs. Hey Google, raise head. My apologies, oh. I don't understand. I forgot I didn't program that one yet. Hey Google, lower my legs.
So the really cool thing about using routines with these is I could literally choose any command that I want to and then plug in the pre-programmed commands that came with the controller and create any sort of combination I want. So if I wanted to be really silly and say um, Alexa or Google kickback, it would actually, you know, Sorry, I could program I'm not sure it. About that. Thanks, a girl. <laughs> I could actually program it to lean me back. You know, I could say, <clears throat> "Hey Google, the Martians have landed," and it could let my feet down if I programmed it that way. So it really is all about just your creativity and the um, stellar programming that they have created. And by they, I'm talking about Bill, Deb, John, all the ones at Limited Mobility Solutions. So. It gives us a lot of freedom. I also want to throw this in for those of you who have not huh. seen. Looks like there's a problem. Hey, Google, stop. It thought I was talking to it. Sometimes they do kind of just interject and want to be a part of the conversation, even when they're not. It's kind of funny. But um, at any rate, what I was saying is that I want to just sort of give you a little bit of my story for those of you who have not heard it before. Um... I first found out about this technology the year that I was 40 <clears throat> and what was really cool is that in all of those years I had never been able to independently sit up in the bed by myself ever even as a child uh, so all of a sudden at 40 years old I was able to sit myself up for the first time I was able to move my legs I didn't have to call somebody in the middle of the night to adjust me anymore and it gave me just tremendous freedom. I like to sit up early in the morning and just, for me personally, I like to just pray quietly or sometimes just um, just sit up in the dark and just, um, you know, enjoy some quiet time. I never had that luxury before. I always had to just stay in the position that I was placed in for the night. And when I say this particular technology, changed my world it really did it radically changed my life so um, I'm just super grateful and uh, if you've not checked out their website please do it it's limited mobility dot solutions and you'll see some different stories on there of different solutions that they've created um, it's not just beds that they do they do other things as well like automatic door openers and lights and uh, all kinds of things to help people like myself who have limited uh, physical function live a more independent life. So kudos to them. We are grateful for all the work that they're doing and um, just a big shout out. Thanks and to all of you watching the video, hope you have a great day and hope to check in with you about something cool and fun again soon. All right, bye y'all.